Alright everyone, how are you all going? Um, took a trip to Bunnings yesterday and bought this. It's a gorilla cart. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, one of those little trolley things. We've got two already up at our farm that I like cook onto our mower and tow stuff around if I'm like cutting down a you know, part of a tree or something. Um, I just put the saw and everything in the cart and the blower and then tie it over with the mower and um, go from there. But yeah, I thought, oh, well, you know, seeing a good old Josh in Adelaide with his cart, I thought, oh, maybe I'll, um, I might grab one because I normally actually, you might have seen, I actually have my blower and my trimmer sitting on top of this and you can see it's, um, it's really soft. It's not a hard catcher. So it's, it's actually, I think, damaging the bag. So I don't really want to do that, and also the thing, like the trimmer keeps falling off um, down the front, and uh, so I see how. So I got a, a cart, and I've kind of laid it out. I think I've got a little rack we just built because it has these holes in it, and so we basically just got um, one of these bits of wood, just a long three meter bit or something, cut it up, um, sort of bolted it on. I got a um, hook here for the. Uh, for this part of the trimmer. I've taken the uh, little stick bit thingy that was going like out there. That's kind of just to protect your, protect, stop you from pulling the trimmer back and cutting your foot. Um, but I'm not an idiot. I use these things for a living, so, you know, I think I know how to use one properly. So yeah, I took that off so it can sit on here like that, as close as it can to the handle. And now I've got one of these brackets um, to hold the engine because I have heard um, that some guys with their trailer racks and they just have hooks like this and they hook onto here and here or somewhere like that and the engine basically just goes and just drops straight off sometimes so um, yeah that's the last thing I want with a $530 whipper snipper um, so yeah I've kind of just stick the blower through there I've got plenty of room for all my tools actually um, I've, again, I'm not going off to a job now, I just saw, see how I can fit stuff in. Um, Josh, I did like how you've got your little wooden thing on the bottom to hold all the cans and stuff in. I reckon I'll be right though. I might, I might try doing something like that, because there are bolts that you put in there, 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 all, all over the place. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of just to show you can hold a bunch of stuff. I, wa I was thinking of putting another one kind of out here to hold my hedge trimmer, but, um, or maybe putting another thing like this and over there down about here to hold the garden line or something but you know I can I can the great thing about this is I can take this apart and you know this is what I like about it for um, really small jobs where I just chuck stuff in the back of our car because it splits into two so it's, it's really easy to fit in the boot whereas this you gotta fold both seats down because it's just it's really big <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, Dad wanted to do it kind of a U-shape all around, but I thought, no, I can't get the handle around, and also it's just going to get really heavy and shit. But um, this works. One of the good things about having this part here, and not just hooks, is that it can't kind of like roll all over the place. Um, so you can see it's pretty sturdy. So, you know, if I, if I go turn it around, it's not really, it's not jumping around that much. And neither is anything else. So I'm really happy. Also this, um, this cart does have a ticker function so you pull this thing out and then you can lift the tray up and dump stuff out. So I reckon this will be really good for mulch jobs and stuff. Because um, I do some of those, I've done that before. Because I do landscaping as well. Um, so yeah, I can kind of dump mulch and whatever or grass clippings back onto the lawn if a customer is being a dick. Um, but yeah, uh, I haven't had to do that yet, thankfully, but I have heard of guys that have. So, be warned, I will leave your garden exactly the way I came to it if you're a, if you're a bad customer. But yeah, so that's, that's pretty much how, you know, I mean, it's not bad. I'm probably gonna put little straps or something around here. I don't think, Anyone's going to try and pinch it because I can easily pull this into someone's backyard with me. But with trailer, with the trailer racks I'm building for our trailer, um, or my grandpa's building, I will have it lockable so a piece will pretty much 
sit over here and I can put a padlock or something on it because you know I it, people do steal equipment as nasty as it seems in a country like this it does still happen though um, so you gotta be careful but with this I, I really think all it needs is a little ocker strap or something I can probably put one around here one around here and try and stretch one from there around and also what I like about this is it's pretty long, as you can see, it kind of goes out past the cart quite a bit, but you can lift it up. And, yeah, so it's kind of a little bit less out of the way. It's still in the way, but, yeah, it's about as good as you get. So, yeah, that's, um, that's my new cart. Tell me what you think. Um, again, thanks, Josh, for the inspiration. Uh, I, I, I did spend quite a while with the dude at Bunnings last night trying to explain to him how you did it and I'm just like oh, you know it's kind of like a thing on the side of the cart and he's like what do you mean like a and I'm just like no no I mean like he literally built a rack and he, he wasn't getting it but um eventually we got through so I just bought this at the same time we bought the hooks and all that sort of stuff um and we just put it together it's taken like I don't know two hours maybe maybe two and a half um but yeah, it really helps not having to bolt anything in because this is plastic. It was really handy that we just kind of shoved it in. So yeah, I mean it's it's pretty sturdy. It's not super sturdy, but that's why we've got this third post here um, in there to kind of and the bracket here to kind of provide support because this is real flimsy here. This thing can actually hold 320 kilos or something, but the sides are really flimsy. So if we just had these two posts. And you put the trimmer on, it'll probably just go and just fall over. So, you don't want that because, again, very expensive whippersnipper, and I would not be impressed if I broke my cart and I also broke my whippersnipper. Because, yeah, I used to think a lot. But that's why I've got this post here. So, if you are going to um, build a little rack for your cart, like I have, like Josh has, unless your bolt actually physically bolt unless it's like a metal sided or a mesh sided tro uh, trolley and you're bolting it into the side I do highly recommend putting another one on the side here with a bracket as you can see we've got a metal bracket there I really recommend that because otherwise you could end up feeling pretty sad by the end of the day but that's that's just my opinion but yeah so like comment subscribe tell me what you think um, what you reckon about it? Good? Bad? Do you think it'll last? If it doesn't, I'll, you'll know. <laughs> um, I'll probably put photos of it up on um, my Instagram account, so check that out. But uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, impact drive again. But otherwise, have a great day, everyone.